Hi everybody, this is Nick from Game Crate. What's going on, it's Mike. Uh, we're here, we're playing some Overwatch uh, with the Rocket Sova lap desk. We've had this in the office for a couple of weeks now. You can see it here in all its glory. Uh, we were just debating before we started recording whether it's uh, Rocket or Rocat. And a lot of people in comment sections like to tell us that they know for sure one way or the other. Uh, I've talked to Rocket employees, and I guess the official word is that it is Rocket, but plenty of people in that company also say Rocat. So, so whichever one you personally feel best, because the thing is, there's a cat in their logo. Yeah, I, you know, so it's, they're just like begging for some miscommunication. Yeah, and it, and it's spelled cat. And speaking of names, I also talked to them, and I said, "Is this called the Sova S O V A?" Because it kind of sounds like sofa. And again, they did not give me that that was officially the name, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that that's why it was called that. My, I've had my fastest kill ever at this door right here. I put this here, a tracer came running out, I blew it up, and tracer flew off there and died less than two seconds <laughs> oh, into the match. Look, look to the left. But, oh, there's... Oh, whoa! There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, this game uh, is amazing. Not going to happen this time, though. So I've used the, uh, the Sova a bit. This is the MK version we're using, which has the mechanical switches. There's also a membrane switch version, which is a, a little bit cheaper. Uh, it's available now on Newegg. I'm also using the Kova mouse. Right now on Newegg, if you buy the Sova, you get the Kova mouse for free, which is a pretty sweet deal. Woo, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, it is actually. So yeah, it has TTC mechanical switches. Uh, you can see the size of it here. We've also used the Lapdog by Corsair, which is a much kind of bigger lap desk option. The Lapdog from Corsair, you have, it works if you have a K70 keyboard or a strafe keyboard to put into it. This Sova is a complete package. It comes with the keyboard is built right into it, and the map you need to supply your own mouse, but it has a USB thing on it. You can plug it That's in. That's what I, when I when you first handed it to me, I was like, oh, where's the where's the port, where's the port where you put the mouse? Yeah. And I was like, thank God. Yeah, it's <laughs> on the front. <laughs> Woo, that would have um, been scary if it didn't. We're not doing very well. It's mostly because I'm talking. But... Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh gonna... well, that would explode anyways. Yeah. Um, so you can see, I'll show the underside of this thing, what it looks like, right? You can see that. has a little bit of padding there, has the connections on the front. It has a pretty cool, like, quick snap connection here, so you can just undo the whole thing. Um, and you can see that, like, we're losing here. This is why we're not doing competitive mode, which just started yesterday, because I would feel bad if I was, we were losing because <laughs> I don't feel I'm bad yammering right on. But, uh, yeah, um, so it has a nice amount of padding. It's pretty light. Uh, we're using it with one of these gaming chairs. I don't think it's actually ideal with a gaming chair. It really is best on the sofa. But really, wh where are we going to find a sofa? Yeah, yeah. But it's one thing we don't have around the office is a, a gaming sofa or something. Uh, one, one day. Yeah. One day, Nick. One day. The reason it's better with like a sofa is because you actually don't want armrests here. Because yeah. the armrests of this chair kind of get in the way of uh, what it should be. You want your arms down. I've also found that it works really well with... Uh, I have the Ikea Poang chair at home, which a lot of people probably know what I'm talking about right now. It's a pretty cool rocking chair, pretty uh, light construction. And that works really well too because of how the uh, the armrests are constructed in that. Dude, you are rocking it with this uh, Junkrat. I, I play a lot of Junkrat. I, try, I, I avoided Junkrat. He's tricky. Always. He he takes some getting used to. You have to, you know, the traps are a weird way to play. Yeah. Um, and the arc on his weapon is really odd, but I just, he's just so, he's so different and useful and you can get kills from weird angles and his ultimate is great with the exploding tire. It's like a one hit KO too. Most of the time, yeah. There's only a couple heroes that it won't uh, totally kill him, but. Most of the tanks. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that was cool. <laughs> oh no, no. So yeah, if you're interested in a lap desk, I can go ahead and say that the, the Sova, it's definitely a cool way to go. It, um, it's not too expensive. You don't need an extra mechanical keyboard or whatever. It's light. It's comfortable to use. But it has enough space. That's what I actually really like. About yeah, it it's really generous. Oh, the mouse pad part of it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. And, well, that, of course, for your arms, too. Yes, the wrist rest. It has a generous wrist rest, which I do like. Because um, the ergonomics can get a little weird when you're on a couch or whatever, and so you do want that kind of support most of the time. My biggest fear is that it was going to be digging into like my forearm yeah. because it would be too big. But it's actually not that big, yeah. where it's troublesome. Oh my god, something's happening! <laughs> yeah, I definitely play uh, Suicide Junkrat. Like, you know, I just run right at people, because when you're... If you play Junkrat pretty well, 
Like you demand a lot of attention. If you're jumping around and throwing grenades everywhere, we lost. But oh. um, that that's how I like to play. Maybe not the most ideal, but it's fun. And then you just dive at guys, and Someone then you end up dropping. Scotty said, "My bad." My bad. Yeah, I don't know who was Scotty. Scotty was our tank, but. We did okay. All right, Mike, I'm gonna jump out of this game or jump out of this and then you're gonna try out the so button. Let me know what you think. Yes. I'm gonna, so you you mostly play on the game crate name. Right? Yeah, that's mostly what I've done. Um, we have a couple other names that we use for stuff, but but yeah, if you have played against game crate on, uh, in a game of Overwatch on PC, that probably was me or <laughs> one of our other writers. Do we, do we have like out. a bunch of like friends who were fans of the show or fans of the channel? Um, I really don't know. We're not that big. Uh, I, I'd love to say yes, but you know, there's so many things out there with game in the name. Guys, it'd be hard to remember. But you know what it, you need to do on your Steam account, go to your friends list and add us. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and add. We're, we're out there. Because we'd like game to. Crate. It'd be awesome to have like a bunch of fans play. You know, that would be pretty fun. Yeah. So this is this one is through Battle.net, so you can add us. Um, I think the email, uh, well, I don't want to give out the email address, but <laughs> if you look up Game Crate, uh, you should be able to find us on battle.net if you'd like to, to add. Or if you just happen to be playing and you do see us, say what's up. Say that you've uh, watched us play and not, not be that good. So now, the moment of truth. Mike, you mostly don't play this game on the PC, is that correct? That's correct. I usually do it on the PS4. I like okay. the, the couch sitting down, but now that this is, is yeah. here... I have no it. excuse. No excuse to ever play a game on a console again. So the Sova here, you can see on the, the cam in here, oh, it's, look got, at that. it's got the that blue cam. lighting. Um, the keyboard itself is just blue lighting. It doesn't have RGB, although I'm sure we'll get an RGB version at some point if this thing catches on. So Ooh. yeah, competitive mode launched yesterday on PC. I've had a chance to do a couple of placement matches. Uh, we'll see how that goes. It's very exciting. Still unclear what the community is going to be like. People are going to be taking it more seriously. People are going to be bigger jerks about everything. <laughs> just kind of the, the risk with this. Because Overwatch, for the most part, the community has been pretty nice. Overwatch is like, pretty good. Yeah. Like the, the, the way they handle it. Yeah. Every once in a while you run into a jerk, but mostly it's been, you know, people aren't too critical. And But when it's competitive mode and people's ranks are on the line, then it's, you know, it's a question how people are going to react. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Nope. Oh, no! Oh, there we go. Doing well so far. Yeah. Doing pretty good. Yeah. It's it's when you get up to the top of the stairs where the uh -oh. really comes into play. Oh, uh, they don't have it, though. They don't have anybody on that top level. They're not playing well. Yeah. This is the a part where, like, this is why they had to nerf Torbjorn on consoles, because if you play, like, three or four Torbjorns on a defensive team on this map yeah. and set it up right there, it's... Very, very hard. I've heard that uh, to, uh, there's been it. there's been teams of like five Torbjorns and yeah, it's I mean, hard to get. hero stacking. It's it's a debatable thing playing multiples of one hero on a team. I think it's fine. Yeah, it's... I think the goal of the game should be that that's never the optimal strategy. Like that's not oh the best for developer way wise. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it it's fine to allow a team to play four or five oh, Torbjorns. You just shouldn't. Uh, you just shouldn't. That shouldn't win automatically, you know? It shouldn't be unbeatable. <laughs> what is this person doing? There you go. Yeah. Oh, no! Uh, well, where's the rest of my team? There's a lot of praise going on in these, uh, <laughs> this chat. Yeah, right thanks, now. thanks, nice. <laughs> I love my team. Aw, uh, you guys are, you guys are doing good. Teamwork. I'm my ultimate ready. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, no! Oh, yeah, I got him! I got him, though! Okay, I good. got him. <laughs> Still spooky, though. Yeah. You guys got this. Wow. Yeah! Demolished him. Victory. Yep. Good GG. Oh, that's a C? Uh, can... you can, to type, you just hit enter. There you go. Play the game by that Persian. <laughs> Let's see how good it is. I, I once was playing against a guy. Oh, this is after I killed that uh, Bastion. Whoa. What the? Wow, it survived. Nice. Whoa. Wow. Oh, whoa. So good. Yeah, that was pretty good. That's why you won right there. So that is the uh, the Rocket Sova MK. There's also the regular Sova version available without the mechanical switches. Both are good. Just depends on your switch preference, really. Uh, you can check them out on Newegg. We'll go ahead and drop links into the... Uh, 
description here and also on screen. That's so yeah, really, uh, well designed piece of tech. Good here. job, Rocket. 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 Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, so subscribe, leave us a like. If you uh, liked what you saw, let us know in the comments, and uh, we'll see you next time.